guys, what's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and more importantly, welcome to another gig vlog. Today guys, I am going to be emceeing a sweet 16. Sweet 16. And that brings me to the topic of this vlog. I want to run something by you guys. I get offered a lot of MC work and it's mostly because I do a lot of videos here on YouTube and the majority of people who watch it are actual DJs who have their own company. Now, a big thing in the DJ world is a lot of DJs don't actually like talking on the microphone. Now, that's something that I personally don't struggle with. I don't really have a problem talking on a microphone, but I know a lot of DJs do have issues talking on a microphone. So I have a question for you guys. Do you guys personally have trouble talking on the microphone let me know down in the comments below I'm curious how many of you guys actually bring an actual MC and how many of you guys just do it all yourself where you're the DJ and the MC now I've been turning down a lot of MC work because there's kind of like a blurred line where people don't really know the difference between a MC and a party motivator let me know down in the comments below what your definition of an MC is last year I had an issue where I got hired to MC a wedding quote I was a past of MC and what they meant by that is that I wasn't out on the dance floor doing line dances with them I wasn't out there dancing I wasn't out there singing on the microphone and that's something that's just not in my persona I'm not gonna be out there on the dance floor singing dancing along with the crowd that's just something that I can't do but that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with that that's actually why I personally hate DJing kids parties because with kids you do have to interact a little more and sometimes the only way to do that is by you yourself going out there and actually dancing to encourage people to come out and dance I personally don't want to do that no interest in doing that so I've been very transparent with guys who have lately been calling me up and asking me to MC for them I tell them hey listen I am not going to be out there dancing I am not going to be out there singing I'm gonna hype up your crowd but I'm gonna do it from behind the DJ booth but I am NOT gonna be out there dancing with grandma things like that that's something that I have no interest in doing and like I mentioned to you guys there is nothing wrong with being that kind of MC there is no wrong way of doing it but you do have to have that communication with the client so now I am more upfront about the way that I do things and the way I MC let me know your opinion down in the comments below and let me know how much talking is too much talking there's a very thin line between pumping up a crowd and just being on the microphone being obnoxious that's why I personally hate bringing DJs to come DJ with me at events because they personally feel that they have to talk on the microphone that's why I personally love bringing Christian along to my gigs because he's not a DJ so I have that security that at no point in the night he's gonna grab the microphone away from me and just talk on the microphone while some DJing I don't want anybody touching it now there are some DJs that just don't like talking they despise talking on the microphone and that's where you do need an MC to actually cover that because you do have to do a bit of talking to motivate the crowd MCing an event is a crucial part of the celebration so I want to pass the question off to you guys how do you guys run your business do you guys have a DJ that personally goes out there and makes those announcements Do you guys have an MC slash party motivator that's out there making announcements and also encouraging people to dance by him dancing himself I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say let me know down in the comments below but all right it's time to get in the zone I'm really pumped for this sweet 16 because I'm going to be working with a friend of mine Camilla he's really been hyping me up about this party he says that he is going all out with the special effects it says that he also is going to have a co2 cannon which I'm really really excited I don't know if it's a co2 cannon or a co2 gun it's gonna be a fun night and I hope you guys are ready for it yeah buddy all right welcome to the mansion check it out it's a mansion at Belton Lakes this is a dope spot for a sweet 16 let's go inside and check it out I got a good feeling about today get ready What's going on, man? What's up, brother? All right, guys, we are here at the mansion, and we're here with my homie Camillo. Say what's up, brother. What's going on? Yeah, what's your DJ name? It's Camillo? Just it's Camilo. not DJ Camillo. I really don't have a DJ. It's just Camillo. DJ CNS Camillo. Warning. And we got uh, Abe over there. Check it out. Right here. Oh, that's dope. I've never seen CO2, bro. Bro, I've seen CO2, but like at clubs, I've never seen it like at a party. The club cannon CO2 gun. 
I've been meaning to get one of these. You can get it customized with like your logo. It costs like $1.99 and then you want to do a custom logo, it's like $20 to the company. Yeah, I like that. And he's got the special edition gold disc. My gold buddy for sale. He's stay selling hey, stuff, we're bro. Gonna, we're going to jump into the, the new SZ2. That's where it's at, bro. The SZ2 is dope. Check this out. I've been wanting to get one of these ADJ Volcanoes thing, but... Uh, I don't know, man. Camilla says that it doesn't set off the fire alarm. It says it's quick blast, quick make sure dissipated. Make sure you use the liquid quick blast. You can get it on Amazon for like a gallon for like twenty nine ninety nine. I'm still sketched out. Fifteen or twenty seconds. It doesn't. No haze. No haze. It just goes up and it just evaporates. Damn. Check it out. He's got the new uh, RCF Art series. Have you ever used these? These are loud, dude. Got the facade. Got the moving heads. I think those are Chauvet Intimidator. Three fifty five Intimidators. We got JBL subs. CO two tanks. <laughs> Party people, we are all set to go. What you guys think of the setup? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, what you think about that CO2 gun? That's dope, huh? I really liked it. So we're all set for Michelle Sweet 16. I'm just going over uh, pretty much the names, making sure that I'll pronounce everything correctly. And uh, it should be a pretty straightforward party. I think it goes from five to 10. So it should fly by fairly quick, only five hours. And uh, we get to be out of here by 10, by nine actually. I think it's five to nine. It's gonna be a good night. It's gonna fly by. Also, by the way, I know you guys always love seeing playlists. This isn't my party, but um, they did show me the playlist. Check it out. Get ready to. Uh, take a picture of this check it out check it out check it out it looks like a lot of hip-hop a lot of amigos three amigos <laughs>
First I had to tip her, 20,000 ones. She said, I'm that I said, I'm that I already know it. Happy birthday, dear Matilda. Happy birthday to you. I need you to make some noise. Oh, yeah. All right, party people, that is it. Party is over. Why am I out of focus? There we go. Thank you so much, Camillo, for letting me come through, letting me DJ. It was dope night. Thank, Thank you. CNS Entertainment, everybody. Follow them. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. What's Thank you very much, DJ Bar, for coming out and uh, helping out with us with the MC and DJing. Absolutely, brother. We'll definitely have you next time. Again. Absolutely, bro. Right. We're going to link up again. What's your Instagram? All that good stuff? Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, CNS Entertainment One. And on Facebook, also CNS Entertainment One. All right. I'm going to link him down below and also I'll list it right there. And thank you to the homie Abe. You. What do you want to say to the vlog, man? Oh, thank you very much for watching this show. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> Alex and Sation's brother, they went, they went to high school together, and he's telling us all the secret. So what really happens when you hang out with Alex? Uh, <laughs> we drink a lot. It was a lot of fun. It was different. That was the uh, first time I see that uh, photo booth like that. I never seen that. Uh, oh, yeah, the LED photo booth, right? The LED kind of, yeah. what's it called? The bubble-ish look. Yeah. The flames. I haven't seen that in a while. I haven't seen that either. So, that, that brought it back, but um, you guys uh, killed it tonight. Plug your Instagram, man, or YouTube. Uh, my Instagram is uh, Miwe Films. M-I-W-A-Y Films. I'll then link it right here. Right here. Right here. Follow. Uh, on behalf of CNS. Thank you, Bar. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. It was an awesome night. Got to see the the CO2 gone. That was dope. I want one. He made Definitely me get the club cannon. And uh, <laughs> soon we're going to be having the CO2 jets. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it. Mm -hmm. All right. That is it, guys. Woo! All right, I am back home, back at the crib. Great night. Big shout out to the homie Camillo for letting me come through and MC slash DJ. Good party. They did dance, but uh, it was a lot of on and off, a lot of resets, a lot of set resets. So that made life a little bit difficult, but it wasn't like they weren't dancing. It was just that they would dance for a short burst. Then they would get distracted by like the photo booth. Then we get distracted by like the dessert table. That's how it is a lot of times with 16s. Trying to maintain their attention is sometimes tough. But it was all good. A lot of I, I don't like requests. I've been doing a lot of Sweet 16s lately and I thought I was up to date with all of that good stuff, that Sweet 16 stuff, but apparently I'm not and I know it sounds tacky. DJ say it all the time, but every single party is different and that's not just me blowing smoke up your ass it really is true every party is different the playlist that works at one party might not work at the following party that's why i don't really do playlists i mostly do it off the top of my head don't tell me what to play i know what i'm doing tomorrow i am flying out to las vegas and i'll be hanging out at the adj booth mostly all week so if you're gonna be a mobile beat stop by the adj booth and say what's up to me i'll be there representing adj Hey, that's gonna do it for this one. Like this video if you like this. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you really want to help me out, don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified. Uh, this whole week, I'm gonna be vlogging every single day this week from Las Vegas. So I'll see you guys there. Stay woke, bros. Peace. Say bye, Linda. Bye. Bye. <laughs>